Jane King is live at the NASDAQ in New York City. With more big and frankly bright news about the future for Lilly. Yes. Well, shares of Lilly were higher yesterday, even as the rest of the market stumbled. So the company continues to get enthusiasm about its weight loss drug. Now, BMO analyst Evan Siegerman wrote to clients that Lilly's drug already appeared to be taking market share away from Novo Nordisk's Ozempic and Wagovi. And he said this is early validation that Lilly's franchise will dominate the landscape this year. Job openings nudged down in November to the lowest in fact in more than two years. The ratio of job openings to available workers fell to 1.4 to 1, still elevated, but down sharply from the 2 to 1 that we had seen mostly in 2022, the number of open jobs at the lowest since March of 2021. Well, a survey of 2,000 U.S. adults with less than two months of savings found finances are often top of mind. The most common disruptions that make people feel paralyzed include an unexpected bill or expense, a medical emergency, increase in the cost of necessities, or loan payments in a job loss. This was commissioned by Best to egg and conducted by one poll for Financial Wellness Month. And the survey also found 77% of respondents say they carry the mental load of their finances for their household. Well, Ford has recalled nearly 113,000 F-150 pickup trucks over concerns a rear axle hub could break off, causing the vehicle to lose power or roll away when in park. The recall applies to some 2021 to 2023 F-150 vehicles equipped with the Trailer Tow Max duty package. Now, now, the NHTSA advises owners of these recall pickup trucks to take them back to the dealer for a temporary repair. And stocks continued their losing streak yesterday. It's been a pretty rough start for stocks. Today, we are looking positive. The Dow's pointing up 60 points. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. We are about to get an early look at what an AI-powered phone will be. <laughs> well, Samsung will show off the features of its new AI-powered phones at an unpacked event on January. January 17th. So they're likely to unveil the Galaxy S24, 24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. So we don't know exactly, but maybe they could generate images based on a string of words. So that's some kind of speculation about what these phones may be able to do. I don't know if I need my phone to be any smarter than it already is. I'm, I'm a little uh, <laughs> hesitant about this. <laughs> Mine's already yes, smarter than I am. So. Yeah, mine's yeah. too smart. So let's stop it there. But we'll see. Jane, thank you.